Hi, I'm Johnny Riddle, the Executive Director of the Frank Clinton Arts District. And I am Marcus Billingsley, the Scrawl 15 Featured Artist. And we're here with Marcus today to talk to him a little bit about his experience with Scrawl over the years, what uh, it's like to paint big, and the impact that it's made on his career as a professional muralist. So Marcus, w how did you first become involved with Scrawl? Um, well, for me, I found Scrawl through other local artists within the community, um, followed in their footsteps um, as a young artist several years back, and uh, seeing what type of community involvement other people were getting mixed up with. Um, mm -hmm. That led me to Scrawl and the beautiful opportunity to paint in this lovely community. Awesome. Um, now, was that your first time painting big like this? Um, it was one of my first several times. Okay. I have painted big, uh, a, a few, several things big <laughs> around that time. Um, but I will attribute um, Scrawl uh, 2019 to, to one of my first uh, public art murals. Okay. And what was the piece that you created for 2019? Um, the piece I created for 2019 was sort of a uh, um, self-portrait um, I did of myself a dual self-portrait of my face and a skull, and it was just loosely based on duality and um, kind of some of the struggles people have to deal with, uh, like me, um, in life where uh, things aren't always certain. Now, as a Scrawl 15 featured artist, you will also be creating a mobile mural this year. Uh, I, and I know a lot of artists go about it differently. Some completely plan everything out. Some fly by the seat of the pants. What is your process? Um, I usually think in color first, you know. How I engage my audience first is through emotion. And the quickest way to invoke emotion with your audience is through color. So a lot of times I think in color, and that's just about what I have right now. <laughs> I've got colors thought down. <laughs> All right, well, you have a little over two weeks yeah. uh, to pull together the design, in, but we know that you're gonna come up with something just absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, now, as a uh, professional muralist, you have been very active recently, and uh, our guests can find some of your work all over the city. Um, what are some of the projects that you have recently been working on? Um, well, this summer alone, I've completed uh, two to three several mural projects. Uh, two of them have been collaborations with other fantastic artists within the city, which I am grateful to even have the opportunity to work with some of these great people. Um, just completed a, a mural for Deliver Black Dreams and Maroon Arts Group in collaboration with uh, the Greater Columbus Arts Council. Um, that's on the west side, Wilson Road, uh, with another great artist, artist um, Shelby Harris. Um, gotta love those cicadas. <laughs> uh, another mural I just completed uh, was at Third Way Cafe, also on the west side in Westgate for um, Summer Jam West. And that was with two other great CCAD alumni, Tom Glick and Lucy Shear. Um, so Scrawl alumni. Scrawl alumni too. <laughs> well, uh, so you, you, you kind of see how, it, how it's all fitting together. <laughs> That's wonderful. And we're really excited to have a lot of those artists here at Scrawl this year. Excited to have you um, come back be the featured artist. And there's a couple other elements that about being the featured artist that we're going to talk about in our next video. So thank you so much. Thank you. Make sure you stay tuned for the next part in our conversation with Marcus Billingsley.